Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today, happy Friday. I want to just give my brothers and sisters a quick little nugget. What can cause or stop the hand of God from blessing you and moving on your behalf? You. When you stop moving, see, faith without feet, you got to put your feet down in that thing. And you got to walk even when your feelings are trying to take over the situation. Friends, you got to put some feet with your faith. So what stops and blocks God when you will not get up and move by faith? When you're exhausted emotionally, financially, physically, whatever it is, friends, you got to go down deep. And pull up out of that place in that space and keep moving. Friends, I know what it's like. It's usually the last or the next phone call you make that's going to be the right one. It's usually going to be the last door. Because you remember, friends, when the children of Israel was always coming under siege and having problems, God, when he made a move, it was final and deliverance came. When, when Israel cried out because they were being taken captive by Pharaoh and the Egyptians. It was God who chose sovereignly Moses. God already heard their cry. But let me tell you, my friend, if you ever forget that the eye is on, his eye is on the sparrow, his eye is on you. He knows how many hairs is on our head, friend. And we got to believe that when we are crying from the depths of our souls for God to move on our behalf. Don't you give in. Don't you give up. It's time to look up. Friends, you got to pull up your big girl, your big boy pants. You got to pull them up, friends. It, we're in a war here. And don't don't you ever forget it, my friend. The war is from within. You got to laugh at yourself. I had a situation yesterday. Before I knew it, I was like, I was really like, it's something, I felt like the the Lord was like, Sharon, Sharon. Because <laughs> a situation just stirred me up. And I had to pull it in. And you're like, Sharon, j just sh shut up. <laughs> Do you ever sometimes you just need to tell yourself to sh shut up? <laughs> Friends, we all do it. But when it comes to pressure, when it comes to anxiety and fear and concerns, they're valid, friends. But you got to take it one day at a time. Don't get too far into tomorrow. Don't go that far. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Today is the day. Now, friend, keep moving. Do the thing that you should do. Keep doing that thing. Don't you give up. Don't you just roll over. Mm -mm. If you're dealing with some, with some challenges in your body, you keep eating right, keep drinking your water, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. Don't give up. If you're dealing with a financial situation, friend, make sure that you are not overspending. Make sure that you're doing your part. In order for God to make grace abound towards you and I, you got to to move and you got to move with wisdom and grace you got to move very very circumspectly and God will make all grace abound amen so today's exhortation I want to encourage you I want to encourage all my brothers and sisters in Christ be strong be valiant Come on, take on Joshua 1 9. Be of courage. Be strong. Make sure you're living clean. Make sure you're not playing no games, my friend, because it's also difficult for God to make grace abound when He told you to stop smoking that weed. He told you to cover up them breasts and them hips. Oh, yeah. And you still doing them things, friends. You tying it up. You making it difficult for grace to abound. That's right. Did God tell you to get out of that adulterous affair? Did God tell you to stop committing adultery? Did he tell you to stop lying? What did he tell you to do? You do what you're supposed to be doing, my friend. That's right. That's right. God don't pass us to the second grade and we still acting like first graders and kindergartners. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He, he don't do that. You got to pass every test of your faith. Oh, yes. He or she that has the ear to hear, be encouraged today, my friend. Be encouraged in the name of Jesus Christ. And remember, so a man think in his heart, so shall you be.
keep a song of praise in your heart today, my friend. If you don't have your song, if you don't have a song, get your song, my friend. Get your song. I got quite a few right now. I just love it. Certain songs of praise that just bless my soul, my friend. You just turn it on and just go on with it. Just go on. Mm, mm, yes, yes, and yes. Hallelujah. And give them praise. Come on, whip out that weapon. Come on, take out your weapon. What's the weapon? Praise. Y'all remember that old song? Praise is what I do when I want to be next to you. I lift my voice in praise. Praise is who I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I need to, you know what? I may have screwed up them words, but honey, that was a beautiful song back in like the, somewhere in the 2000s. I'm about to pull that up on my playlist. Praise is what I do when I want to be next to you. I lift my voice in praise. Praise is what who I am. <laughs> Alright, y'all go look that song up by Shekinah Glory. Praise is what I do. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Okay, so bye y'all. Happy Friday. I'm about to go cue it up. That It just came up in my spirit. Praise is what I do. When I want to be next to you. I might be making that up. I lift my voice in praise. Praise is who I am. All right, I'm gone, y'all. See you. God bless. Be encouraged, my friend. Fight that good fight.